How's everything going, Cat TV? I appreciate you guys coming out here. My name is Russell Jones. This is something we put together every year for the last seven, eight years. We do what we call the Harrisburg Smith Edition Reunion. It's just a lot of guys getting together. We used to live in the community years ago. We get together and try to reminisce and have a great time and try to try to uplift the community. So I really appreciate you guys coming out here and sharing this with us. And uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Here's a guy named Greg Hines. Help you out right here. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, we, we do this because what other people have done for us. Uh, we, we were brought up right in the neighborhood. We had people that looked out for us, showed us the right way to do things. We think it's only fair that we give that back to the next generation. So all we're trying to do is tell them that there's a right way and a wrong way. The choice is theirs. We just want to show them the right way. This is Tom Jerry. You know, Cat TV. I did the annual Hansberry Smith Edition reunion. Yeah. And uh, we out here to have a good time. We celebrate. You know, one of the oldest communities in Houston, Texas. Yes, sir. Yeah, we've been doing this every year for the last 10 years. And, and here we are. I hope we're going to have a great turnout today. I'm standing here with Patrick Adams to my right. My homeboy, then my cousin, Cedric Terrell to my left. And we're going to try to interview everybody out here. We want to thank Kyla for coming out today and giving us a hand out here with this here to acknowledge this. Yeah. I see one of the oldest guys from Smith Edition out in Hansburg. Big Bull. There was two bulls when we were growing up. This is Big Bull. This is me and This is my family. We in Bullville, baby. We are alive. Like I said, when we came up, we came up with no cup. And that's what we're looking at. You're looking at nothing but a history that can complete, continue to repeat itself. And we appreciate it. And thank you for everything. We love it. What was black and white? We didn't know black and white. We were a family. We're still a family. Even though we ain't seen nobody, everybody in 30, 40 years, we are still family. We'll always be family. This is our rule. This is where we were made. What I see is some pretty good making coming from this neighborhood. Yes, sir, it is. I love you, boy. Hello, I'm Cookie. I'm Sissy. We them Browns. We them Browns. And we are here at the 2017 Harrisburg Smith Edition reunion. And I am shocked to see so many people that I haven't seen in years. I'm having an awesome time, and I'm glad to be out here. Thank you, Rusty. That's priceless. Price. That's priceless. Glad to be out here to see so many people. It's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. This, this is my great niece, my oldest great niece on my end. Hey, hey. Let me see what she want to say. I'm six years old, and I'm and I'm gonna hold kids that's not gonna that's not helping, but I'm gonna help them that do the right thing. Hey, and that is my oldest great niece. <laughs> All right, people. My name is Gerald Hines. Yeah. I'm just giving a shout out to say that when you look around, always remember how God has been good to all of us. We got a man here to shoot this direct. So God has blessed him to bring you all this message. I'm going to give it to you. Without God, where will we be? Love you all. God bless. Well, I grew up in this community all my life, Harrisburg, and then later on, Smith Edition. I grew up in this neighborhood, went to church in this neighborhood, got to see a lot of old friends here today, kids that I grew up with in elementary school at Harris. Uh, I'm really enjoying the picnic, try to get together every year to get together with the family and friends. Saw a lot of people that I hadn't seen in years. It's been really nice. I'm enjoying the atmosphere. It's kind of hot, but it's uh, it's fun. Got to see some people from elementary school, some people that I went to church with a long time ago, some people that I hadn't seen in years. It's been really, really nice. Uh, my mother's here, my father, my, my uncle's here. Some of the oldest people in my family are here. Really enjoying it. Hello, everybody. Welcome out here to Fishbone Seafood. We're out at 16305 FM 521 in Rose Sharon, Texas. Make sure you make your way out here to get some delicious fish, shrimp, 
fries, food, and a whole lot of great seafood, not a lot of clams. Fishbowl seafood, great seafood, not a lot of clams. Hey, this is Thomas Earl. I'm back. I'm here with my cousin Russell Jones, and we're gonna ask Russell a question right here, and uh, uh, we just want a sincere answer. We we'll just know, Russell, do you think a woman can raise a boy to be a man? In your own words, absolutely. I think she can raise a boy to become a man. It just depends on what she put into it and what type of support she have to make that happen. So it can happen, but it's gonna be very, very hard. And that's my answer there. Thank you, Russ. This is Sissy Brown. She helped raise me as well out here. Sissy, I have a question for you. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Do you think a woman can raise a boy to be a man? Not only no, but hell no. <laughs> yeah, come on, elaborate on that for me for a second. I'm there just... are just things that a woman can teach her son, she can teach him how to love her mother, which is teaching him how to love a woman, but she cannot teach him how to be a man. That's enough said. That's a woman's perspective. Do you think a woman can raise a boy to be a man? In your words, in your thoughts. Not what somebody else is thinking, but you. Yes. I do. Why? Because so many have. So many, and so many have in a black community. Do you know that 70% of the black families, 70% are women raised families anyway? So, yes, it can be done. Thank you. And, and all these women here, they raised me, so I know it's some truth and all. Hey, I'm here with a couple of more of these guys from this historical Smith Edition Hasbury reunion. Uh -huh. uh, I just have a question for a couple of for you guys. I want to know, do you think a woman can raise a boy to be a man. Okay, we can raise a man. I think he can. She can. I don't know about all that. We're going to ask Bull now. Oh, I don't know, sir. Bull, look at the camera. Oh, I'm good. I don't know, sir. You know how it is. I'm the only white boy in the neighborhood. That's crazy. So why do you think a woman can't raise a boy to be a man? A woman can. I think I think she can. Yeah. Well, I think she did a pretty good job right here. Yes. Yeah. yeah all we can do is get all better. We raise y'all. That's right. A, a whole bunch of women raised us. My mama raised seven yeah. of us though. Cause, cause my mother raised me. My dad hey, wasn't there. And yeah, we know that was a, grandma, that was a serious task. Grandma <laughs> made the best fried chicken around when I went over there and ate. Come on, big boy. See this man right here. Man, well I can tell y'all some stories about this man right here. He wasn't even born yet. He ain't he got wasn't no, even thought of. He, 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 he wasn't even thinking that. He ain't thinking about what that. What did he do? Bull, do you think a woman can raise a boy to be a man, Bull? A woman raise a boy to be a man? Yes. It was done many a time in our neighborhood. I'm Joseph Pittman. I come to this community in 1954. I can tell you a whole lot. Uh, my grandmother was deleterious. She raised me. We come out to the project. We was on Lee the Street, but we had a good, good time. And we, my grandfather, Charlie Terrell Sr., they had 11 children. My mother was one of them. We lived the good in this community. Now the generation has flipped over. All of them is gone, but a grandchildren, great-grandchildren, they only have three children left. My Auntie Pauline, Uncle Charlie, and Helen, who stayed in San Diego. And I'm Joseph Pittman Sr. Um, 67 years old. I got grandchildren, nine great grandkids. But it's some good history here. A lot of people that's from this community is gone. This is why we had this here family and friends thing. And uh, I want to get somebody else to give a little bit more history about Harrisburg. Basically, I was basically I was raised up in Harrisburg on Medina Street, 205 Medina Street. I've been in Harrisburg now for like 60 years. Went to Asbury Memorial United Methodist Church. That's where I started church at. And I'm still at Asbury Memorial United Methodist Church. A lot of good people have come and gone through Asbury and through Hasbury. Names and people that you'll never, ever forget. You had the Nixons, the Porters, the Craigs, the Flemings, the Hawkins, the Grays, the Browns. It's just so many more than I can ever think.
you for tuning in. This is Dr. Cat, one love, one heart. Same cat channel, same cat time. Peace. I'm here at Fishbone City with my friends and friends of Willow Ridge having a great time at Fishbone City. Hey man, we'd like y'all to come out to 16305 FM 521 Roshan, Texas. Man, come out and have a great time where there are a lot of fish and not a lot of clams. Come out and have a great time. We'll see you here. Fishbone City. Crazy. Without a lot of clams.